Hi and welcome to my channel. So today I'm working on a spread for February for my Project Life 2017 and I'm working with the Citrus Twist July kit. Now I don't think this stamp set's from this kit uh, but it is a Citrus Twist one and I've started off with the only stamping I will be doing on this layout. It's quite a small spread this one so it's not a full 12 by 12 um, this one's got two horizontal, two vertical, four by six spots, and then two vertical, three by four. But I'm enjoying working with the different size inserts. So first off, I've just stamped at the top a little picture of this with a little Instagram style camera. And it's quite photo heavy, this one, and also the card that I've chosen, the three by four card I've chosen for the blank spot, is also quite... Um, well it stands up on its own I didn't actually do any embellishing to that card I did try a few different things but they didn't quite work so it takes me a while uh, even though it's a small spread but I've pulled out a label for that bottom photo and then the top one is a photo my daughter sent to me um, hence the reason you can see her in the background but while working on that, I did decide I wanted another pink circle because I have a new pink circle punch um, and that's from Stampin' Up. So I chopped that out from behind that Felicity Jane kit photo. Um, and, you know, just because I could. Uh, and it got a lot of use out of that paper. So, yeah, going back up to the card on the top right hand side so that is a picture of a letter my daughter sent to me um, when she got um, confirmation of an unconditional offer for uni um, so she was quite impressed with that so that had to be included and then I've got a picture of my uh, other daughter at uni doing painting again um, she is training to be a primary school teacher so they do do a lot of fun stuff as they call it um, and their science lessons and art lessons are always very entertaining but I've cut out a couple of labels from the cut apart sheet um, of which I can then do my journaling on and I'm having a nosy through the little die cuts but because it was quite a lot of pictures this time it didn't need very big embellishments on on pretty much any of, of the spreads so I've got my little cluster going up in the top right. I've also got a little cluster in the bottom, which I'm just going to label one, layer one of those little tags. And that says life lessons or uni lessons, as this case may be. And then I'm going to stick on my little top cluster. I'm not really missing anything out the letter that, that doesn't tell us what this is all about. So um, I, f I figured this, you know, that was the better part to cover up than the uni logo in the top corner so I have a little bit of readjustment of this I didn't really want the label lining up with the envelope and um, I thought I wanted it tucked in further but I actually wanted it coming just past um, the envelope and got that working and now I've got to get my Felicity Jane photo in the right place to avoid seeing the pink circles that I've chopped out of it and then I'm going to add on there the label that actually came with it this time so, sorry, little pause there. Um, always happens when I'm doing a voiceover. Somebody wants something or somebody phones. But anyway, getting back to the spread, I'm just going to add on my journaling to each of these um, little labels. So in the top corner, I've just got Karis got into Chester, no matter what. And then I've got another uni lesson for Megan, painting again in that bottom corner. And then lastly, on the label for the Felicity Jane kit, I'm just going to got my first ever Felicity Jane kit. Gorgeous. So, you know, no budding writer here, uh, journaling wise, but it just explains what's going on in some of those photos. Um, just in case in a few years, I can't wonder out, can't work out whose hand that is um, or who the kit club is that I got in maybe 20 years time. And then I'm having a look at some extra little bits. I was trying to find something for this top card and trying to use some of those diamonds, which I think are gorgeous. I just could not get them to work. So what I do is I pull out the puffy stickers, which I 
think were from last month's kit so they were from June's kit and I've popped a couple of little stars on the ones relating to uni and then a couple of little hearts one on the picture of the Instax camera that my daughter got um, and also on the Felicity Jane kit and then the last picture is just a close-up picture of a scrapbook layout that I'd done so it was just the fact that I got back scrapping after being away so I'm going to go round my card I do go round this top card and I realised when doing this voiceover that I completely forgot to do the Felicity Jane card at the bottom so you can rest assured that I have now done that so that it does match up all the album and lastly just to add the stitching I've just added that also in only one place this month this week's spread, day spread part of February spread um, I've just added that at the bottom um, to tie the label and the little tag together and that's this spread done so thank you so much for joining me please give me a like if you're liking this or any questions do feel free to ask I will get back to you but there's some close-ups coming up and I'll speak to you all again soon mm -hmm.